moments like this is where I'm able to really focus on the present moment because I want to. Because I want to enjoy it and savor my surroundings. And it's, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, it's so much easier now that I'm recovered. I have less noise and resistance and distortion in the background, in the foreground. It's all calm now. So now that it's calm, I'm able to enjoy the present moment. I'm able to enjoy life as I walk through it and savor it without, you know, something tapping me on the shoulder constantly or something, uh, many things. Thoughts, feelings, alarms, fears. An old program, a survival program that's that's trying to run. And I'm trying to force myself to be in the present moment. See, that's where it doesn't work. Dolly! Good girl. It's hard to, you know, some, some of the advice is like, uh, don't worry about the future. Don't worry about your past. Just live in the present moment because that's all you have, right? And I've always said, you know, well, anxiety will get you in the past, of course. It'll get you in the future with the what-if thoughts. And it'll get you in the present moment just as well. It doesn't matter. So when people say, just be in the present moment, yeah, that, that works if you're... Your baseline is calm. You, your 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 nervous system's been recalibrated. You're running a, a new program. You don't have resistance. You can flow very easily. You know you're easy. You can easily flow with thoughts. You have control of your your brain. The prefrontal cortex is back online. Everything works with ease. The mental mind chatters in the background, in the distance, you, you don't even hear it. It's not even there. You have calmness, peace, right? Then, yeah, then this is easy. Right now, it's easy for me. But sometimes these people haven't experienced what it's like to have intrusive thoughts that are on constant alarm when you have OCD looping thoughts every second and you can't you have no control of your mind anymore you're not in charge your limbic system has decided to take over your amygdala is like well now nah, I'm in the driver's seat uh, you can go sit in the back and uh, you can deal with these with these horrible thoughts, these horrible feelings, these horrible symptoms. How, how is anybody supposed to expect to be in the present moment when you got no control, no peace, all this resistance? It's impossible. It doesn't, you can't. So that advice goes right out the fucking window. And obviously people who say that have never really been through it and recovered. That's the that's the golden thing right there. It's usually people that, you know, are gurus on YouTube, you know, saying that, oh yeah, that makes that's great, that's great advice. But it's not it's not the reality. They haven't and here's the thing. Find somebody that's had what you have when it comes to the O C D looping thoughts, the intrusive thoughts, the PTSD, and fully recovered and is at peace. Those are the people you want to talk with. Not some random guru who's just spewing the same old buzzwords. Like being in the present moment. Well, then just don't think about it and just be in the present moment because that's all that matters. Oh yeah, that works. Actually, it makes things worse. If you're a person that's not that's in a survival state, that type of thing makes it worse. Why? It's because... Why? Because it, you're uh, avoiding your thoughts, you're distracting from your thoughts, you're resisting your thoughts, you're hiding from your thoughts 
by being in the present moment. You're like, oh, I better focus on that tree, how, how it's curved like that. And, you know, meanwhile, in the background, my brain's going, you're going to die. I think you have this and this disease symptom. Uh, you're anxious. You're having a panic attack. You're on high alert. Alarms are ringing. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Meanwhile, you're supposed to look at this beautiful tree and the fog and my dog. Mayday, mayday. Just think about the present moment. Why aren't you thinking about the present? Look at that tree. Count backwards. Five, four, three. Uh, it's not. It, it kind of works. Yeah, it does. It's working. Yeah, yeah, it might work for five minutes, maybe. I'm looking at my dog, the way it's walking. It's really interesting. It's very, okay, I'm focused on that. Focus, 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 distract, distract. Okay, what are they doing? Are they going to look at this path? Okay. Oh, I'm, I wonder what's behind this path. Uh, five, four, three. <sighs> oh, look at this pile of shit. See, when you do that, when you're in a survival state, you're resisting the alarms. When you resist alarms, they ring louder because an alarm needs to be acknowledged, right? So we should technically have the freedom to time travel into the past, into the future, and be in the present moment if we want to. See, I'm mindful of all of this. And I'm mindful and I, I've recalibrated. I'm running a new program. So now I am going to enjoy the now as I walk through, as I'm living my experience. I'm going to savor everything. Like right now, I'm savoring this fog. It's beautiful. <sighs> Three years ago, I wouldn't be able to savor this. Because I would be too clouded with distortion. But now I can. Right? When before, I had to be mindful and not judge, try to fix, not ruminate as much uh, with my thoughts. I just had to allow them to run wild while engaging in life. Right? Right? Engaging in life. I guess you could say engaging in the present moment or whatever you're doing. Bring the alarms with you. Right? We're not going to do the version where you distract and hide from your thoughts while you're in the present moment. We're not trying to be in the present moment to avoid. Because that is not going to get you into recovery. That's going to keep you stuck. Bad advice. So you just got to do a little tweaks here. And you know what? Take, even take the word present moment out. Because it, it keeps sending the wrong message. Instead, say, I'm going to enjoy live my life fully. I'm going to enjoy my moments. I like that better. Enjoy your moments. Savor the moments. While you have that resistance in the background. But how do you do that? By allowing the resistance to be there. And understanding that just because it's there doesn't mean that you're not doing the work properly. Eventually, that noise will calm down. Right? But right now, it's going to be noisy. And you just got to keep doing the work. You got to keep sending that message. You got to keep reprogramming the same response with a pattern, repetition. By allowing, allowing, allowing. Eventually, the baseline comes down. When you allow, the baseline comes down. When you don't and fight and resist, it goes back up again. More alarms. Right? We don't want the alarms to ring all the time. It's really annoying. It's keeping us sick. Dolly, come on. We want to take away resistance. We want to take the resistance away wherever and whenever possible. And that's uh, something that you learn to do. You start to ask yourself, am I resisting right now? If you are, Okay, but you're aware of it. Being aware is one of, you know, one of the biggest keys. Oh, yeah, I am resisting. I'm resisting this one thought. I'm trying to force myself to enjoy this moment too much. 
Well, you can enjoy the moment, but still allow that, that thought to be there and to run wild and sit in the fear of it. You know, if you need to take a second to do it, because sometimes it's overwhelming to do both. Okay, take a focal point. I'm going to pick this. I like that. And now I'm going to process my thought. That's what I did in my early stages. I go, okay, let me, my limbic system. Bring it to me. Show me what's what you're afraid of. Show me the fear. All right. There it is. You know, you can even give it a face. It's purple. It's hairy. It's whatever. The aura. And picture it coming towards you. And you embracing it with open arms and surrendering to it. And allowing it. And loving it. And asking for more. And then it goes through your chest. Out the back. And we get back to engaging. But helmet... Yeah, that, that worked for like a split second, but it's still there now. It's come, it came back, right? And you keep doing that. That's what it is. You got to keep doing that. Keep allowing it. Keep allowing it. People assume that just because you allow, it's a quick fix. Everything goes away. No, you have to keep allowing it and being okay with it being there. Because when you're okay with something being there, that's allowing. When you're okay with the discomfort, that's allowing. Over and over and over again. Go get uncomfortable. Get discomfortable. And then when you do that for a while and you start to recover, you got a new program because it takes a while, right, to reprogram your brain. It takes a while. It's biological. It takes a while for it to shift and rewire. Then when you have the new programming... And it's, and it's one that you enjoy, one that you like and you want to keep, you maintain it. And now I can be here and fully enjoy the moment without so much background distractions or foreground distractions. Right? I don't have voices telling me a thousand messages that are uh, fearful or doubtful or, you know, I don't have somebody clapping in my face or an air horn in my face while I'm looking at this fog. It's easy. I'm flowing. And then we choose to be savoring the moments more often. And that just brings more more of a momentum for more good good moments. And then, you know, it's also a muscle that you, you build, enjoying the present moment. Because you can, it's easier. And you're not enjoying the present moment for any other reason, but just to savor something that feels good. I'm not enjoying the present moment because I want to hide from anything, or because there's an agenda behind it, or any other reason than because I want to. Because it feels good. Because my mind's curious, right? It's curious about what I'm looking at. It's asking questions. So I'm going to go towards that. There are no other questions except for the questions about now. It's like, look, my dog's wet. Where is that from? Oh, because it's all wet in the morning, dewy, and and they must be in heaven right now. And I'm enjoying that feeling, that thought. I'm swimming in it, Right? I'm fully swimming in that thought without having it being taken away by another thought that I don't like. I'm not putting any effort into this. It's just my new programming and it's happening easily. Easily, sorry. Easily. <laughs> so when you see somebody giving the typical advice or if you see, come across a therapist that says don't worry about tomorrow just worry about the present moment you know when you have anxiety all that matters is the present moment and everything goes away run away from them because they obviously have never been through it and they've obviously never recovered from from uh, deep intrusive looping OCD thoughts and they won't be able to help you all they will be able to do is regurgitate the same bullshit you, you see everywhere. 
take your money and have you be stuck and manage. <laughs> Nobody wants to manage. Nobody wants to cope. Who wants to cope? That's not fun. You can't live life like, live life like that. How are you going to enjoy life if you're constantly having an alarm or running a program that's annoying in your face like an air horn? You can't go... You can't go on a trip when you have an air horn in your face in the background. You know what I mean? Run away from them. Go, thank you, but... Yep, thank you. I, you know, thank you very much. And then... You're on your way and you go, Nope, that was bullshit. Good thing. <laughs> I can't believe... It's just like, like the common advice everybody's given online look wherever you go the only time that matters is the present moment and then they'll have like a picture of a cardinal and a tree and people are like oh my god that's so true that's so thank you for this oh my god yeah well how's that working for you it's not but people will try things on and there's such desperate hope to recover and feel normal and look for answers that they'll hold on to that misinformation and they'll regurgitate it and they'll make themselves believe that it's true. So many people are in denial because they're so afraid. They need to hold on to something, right? And then when you give them something else, it triggers them. And they'll hold on even stronger, even tighter to the old thoughts and beliefs. And it'll actually get them angry. Because when you say, actually, you know, this thing over here, been there, done that, it does not work. It's wrong. <gasps> okay, no. Yeah, no, sorry. Everybody's different. <laughs> Everything works differently for everybody. So, no... I'm going to keep be, um, being in the present moment when I have scary thoughts and distracting. So, thank you, but no, thank you. And then, 10 years later, they're still triggering about things and they haven't recovered, they're stuck. <sighs> I understand. I've held on to things that didn't work for a while because I was scared to shift. I was tired of shifting again. I'm like, oh, you know how many things I've tried? I don't want another bullshit fucking remedy that's not going to work. I'm going to stick to this one. Because that's all I got. What, I'm, I'm going to take one more chance on, on this advice? This sounds backwards. What, run towards your fears? What, that doesn't make any sense. Hunt your thoughts? Expose your triggers? What the f- Yeah, okay. You don't, obviously don't understand. Dolly, let's go this way. So, being in the present moment is something that I do because I want to and because I enjoy it. <sighs> Not because I have to or because I have another agenda behind it. No other reason. Only to savor the moment. So I call them savoring the moments. I love that. Don't distract. Don't hide from your thoughts. Allow them, allow them to go crazy, sit in the fear, and engage in life. That's a big, big key. Don't forget to engage, because if you sit in the fear too long, it'll win. It'll come back again. It'll reignite, reignite. So sit in the fear, don't ruminate in it, sit in the fear, and then engage. Yeah, like right now, I'm engaging now. Bada boom, bada bang. Right? Okay. Sarah and I'll talk to you later.